you guys doing? It's Hero of None for your 713, Friday the 13th update for ESO on the Luxury Merchant and Golden Merchant, and just some items to mention on the Crown Store. So, let's get ourselves started here. So, currently on the Luxury Merchant here. I detest you. We have a few new items here, mostly Vanderfall stuff. As you can see there. Glow stocks. All kind of interesting ways to light up your home and all that stuff. I'd probably say the uh, the 25k and the 5k is where I'd go. Like the tall one is nice for maybe a uh, lamppost, but not extremely like impressed otherwise. Now for the luxury merchant here, or not sorry for the luxury merchant, for the golden merchant here, we have a few items here. I'm not going to bother going to Cyril every time because it takes a little bit too much time here, but. Currently, we have the Automaton's Necklace, which is a typical uh, necklace you or set that you use for Templars and all that stuff. Stuff uh, for stamina builds uh, adds four thousand or four hundred weapon damage on your physical abilities. It's kind of meta for PvP for it since it's just a high burst damage. I uh, wouldn't recommend it for something like maybe say a Nightblade or a DK. Well, maybe a Nightblade, but the DK, for example, would be like poison damage. So this physical damage only affects physical attacks. Um, Templars, Sorks, probably get the best benefit out of this. Maybe a Warden as well. Uh, that's 2,500 or 25k gold right there. 5, 5k for your uh, alliance points there. Next is the Undaunted Infiltrator. Uh, not a great set. This one's also two, uh, 250k, but it's Magicka, Magicka, Weapon Critical. And when your abilities are cost Magicka, your light attacks deal extra damage. So yeah, this isn't great. It has magic and magic and then weapon critical. Like a hybrid build might even wouldn't even use this, so. Not sure exactly why they're using it, but okay. Uh Survivor Scales, uh health, stamina, magica. Uh reduces damage taken from guards, uh deal damage 5%, and uh cause Lamia Burst to poison, yada yada yada, and damage over time to all enemies. Can for effect can occur every 6.5 seconds. This is a little bit more meta. For tank builds, it's not a bad set, and it's only about 150k uh, gold for this one here. Uh, this is one of the ones you get out of the Thieves Guild DLC. And then Spriggan's Necklace. This one here is actually pretty good. Stamina, Stamina, Weapon Damage, and Physical Penetration. This actually is used for a lot of melee builds where you're trying to do trials and other things like that. And for PvP as well, just to give you raw... Uh, penetration on people that are probably stacking up some high resistances so springs isn't too bad either uh this one here is also 150k uh 200 or 300 uh alliance points if you want that basically always take the gold that you would spend and double the alliance points that's how you, that's how you figure that out uh for the two helmets you have you had domas helmets stamina magica and when you deal damage you have 50 percent chance to create a ring of fire uh, which can de deal either flame or physical damage and also wage up, raise up your spell damage or weapon damage. Not really a great one here. It's an either or type of situation and most people wouldn't just go with it. So, that wouldn't recommend buying that one. Uh, Selene's guys, on the other hand, stamina and we deal direct melee damage. 15% to, uh, to call primal spear at the mall's close to the enemy uh, for 13k. So if you ever needed this, this is basically a pretty meta helm for PvP uh, because it does a good burst damage here. However, Sleens is pretty easy to farm to get out of it, so I don't know if you actually want to spend the full 100k. Domas is a DLC dungeon, so if you wanted to get that helmet, you have to do that. But, it, it, you know, you probably wouldn't bother with Domas helmet as it is. Uh, now, as for other items here, I'll mention a few, few things on the Crown Store this week. You have Camel of Ill Omen. A Dire Pony. Dark Stag. Which the legs are messed up with all the stags and all the elks. Uh, you have a few days left on the tricolors for the uh, thing here. You have the Rosendar. <laughs> uh, Jakajit Roz. Basically Rosendar Kitty. Queen's Eye Spymaster. The little thing here. And it does have the cat ears for anyone that's not a Khajiit. But basically you can look like Rosendar with this. Which I think is kind of cool. And you have discounts on werewolf bites and vampire bites right now, too. 
Also, you have the Grand of uh, the Colossal of the Mary Grotto, which you can take a look on our channel here. We've already looked at this one here. But you only have a few days left to buy this, and it's only for crowns. Lastly, remember, it's ESO Plus weekend. If you ha don't have ESO Plus regularly, get in every day and try getting some DLC stuff down there. If you have ESO Plus, log in every day and kill something and get a chance at getting a crown... Or no, not a chance. You have a guaranteed... Uh, loot for a crown crate at the end of the uh, of the period here so should, monday you should be getting your crown crates anyways that's a luxury merchant golden merchant and just some things on the crown store hope you guys enjoyed